All right, what's up everyone? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Sorry I didn't upload for a few weeks, but uh, I'm gonna start grinding and try and get a video a week out at least. Yeah, so today I just wanted to talk about my eBay business uh, and how my numbers were in 2021. Just go over my sales, my strategy, and how you guys can replicate this too. So for anyone that missed that first video, my whole eBay business is centered around selling parts online for auto repair shops and body shops. So I walk in the local shops and I offer them my consignment business. Basically, I'll sell parts on behalf of them. They give me their stuff for free. When it sells online, I take a commission. So I never own anything. The parts are technically still theirs until I sell it. Then when I sell a part on eBay, the shop is responsible for the fees and the shipping then that final value, I take my commission, which is usually somewhere between like 20 and 30%. And yeah, today I just wanted to go over my numbers, what kind of items I'm selling and how you can do this too. So we'll jump right into it and I'll pull my screen up here for you guys. So if you ever really wanted to sell on eBay, but could never really get into it or find stuff to sell, this is the perfect business model for you. Like I said, it's very low risk because you never own anything and you can control how big you want to make it and how busy you want to be just by managing your customers and managing the different shops that you go to and how many parts you want to sell for them. It's really limitless um, depending on how much storage space you have and how much time you have to commit to this. But I really want to make this channel a guide for people that are passionate about automotive, passionate about a side hustle and selling on eBay. All right, so let's get into the numbers here. First thing you see that pops out, $25,000 in total sales. I didn't net $25,000 in profit. I didn't make $25,000 last year from eBay. That is total sales of parts that I sold. And like I said, I take a commission on every transaction. And usually that's somewhere between 20 and 30% per part. And then of course you have your taxes and your selling costs for selling on eBay, which is somewhere around 12%. And then we have my total net sales over $20,000. Um, so if you want to know how much I really made, it's probably somewhere between five and $7,000 on my net sales from selling parts on eBay. And then quantity sold, how many items I sold last year, 200 at an average sales price of $125, which is actually very high. $125 is pretty good. Uh, as you can see, 80% higher than I was last year. Um, I was just selling a lot more expensive parts. And as you can see, most of my listings are fixed price. So just the nature that selling parts on eBay is, you're not gonna have 10, 20 buyers every week looking for your specific part. A lot of these things will sit on eBay for a few weeks, uh, sometimes even months before the right buyer comes along. So I do wanna take a second just to talk about this business model and how and why I get these parts. So like I said, I work with a lot of body shops. So a car will come in after a collision, and the shop or like the insurance company will come and write a repair order for everything on the car that was broken in the accident. And once all that stuff gets approved, then they'll start disassembling the car and taking the parts that were broken off. But a lot of the parts that they take off the car are still functional or could be repaired. It has value. So the shop's not gonna throw that out. They're gonna store it or they're gonna give it to me. So a lot of the things that I do sell on eBay are slightly broken or could be repaired. So it's really important when you sell these things on eBay, you take a lot of pictures and highlight what's damaged. But I do like selling things that are not broken, that are off European cars, because that brings the most money. Specifically like Mercedes, Porsche, BMW, and Audi, a lot of these foreign cars bring a lot of money for used parts and they do sell pretty quick. But I will sell GM stuff. I will sell Honda, Nissan. I will sell anything that I can get my hands on that I can make a profit with. So I'm really not that picky. So real quick, I'll just show you my monthly sales. Uh, I was selling a lot through November and December of 2020. Sales kept going up until February. March was good. April was good. And then kind of was low on inventory and slowed down a little bit. Then I took a while off. So mainly most of my sales came in like the first quarter of 2021. And then you can see that huge number there, selling costs. That's just the nature of selling on eBay you're gonna pay fees it's gonna be expensive sometimes but eBay is connecting a buyer to the seller uh, there is a cost for that so it is a lot of money and I have started selling some stuff on Facebook marketplace because the costs are a lot cheaper but eBay is such a huge platform and they do play a big part in the transaction so they're gonna take that percentage all right, so let's go through my actual listings and what I sold in 2021, and hopefully it'll give you a better perspective of what I'm looking for and what I'm selling. So we'll sort by highest to lowest first. And you can see this 997 turbo exhaust was the most expensive thing that I sold last year. Uh, I got 1400 bucks for it. I think I charged the body shop like 10 or 15%. Uh, shipped it, 
Uh, I think it cost like $75, but it really wasn't going too far. Uh, so it wasn't the worst thing in the world. Then I sold this uh, A6 Radiator support, the whole basically front end of the car for, uh, what is that, $1,100. Had to put it on a pallet and ship it all the way to Florida. Uh, so that was expensive. And I think I charged a body shop like 20 or 30% almost for that because it was a lot of work shipping that. Uh, another shop that I work with had a whole rear end of a new Q7. So I think someone came and picked all this stuff up for local pickup, so I didn't have to worry about shipping it. Uh, we got some good money for that. I think I took like 15% for that. And then you can see some other stuff that I sold. So headlights, a detailing kit, a whole frame for a Mini Cooper, the sunroof frame. Uh, here's an Audi RH strut that I sold for almost $400. I think that sat on eBay for like two or three months. But eventually someone came along, offered me the right price, and I sold it. Here's some more headlights, mirrors, uh, this Audi A6. I think I sold like four or five A6 headlights last year, all with like broken tabs or cracked lenses, but they're still worth a ton of money. Q7 taillight, Dodge Ram, new OEM headlight. Here's an old Mercedes ECU I sold for $250. Here's a C63 AMG brake caliber. That was pretty cool. Uh, did $250. I think that sat for like a month or two. Eventually someone came along and snagged it. Here we got some more headlights, some grills, even some oddball stuff like this A3 wind deflector, $200. Uh, again, that sat for like a month or two. So yeah, anything mechanical, electronic, uh, interior pieces, exterior pieces in a car, I will literally sell anything if I can get money for it and make a profit. Um, I'll list it on eBay. If you see here, like, and it is pretty cool to see sometimes, like I said, like this RH strut here, just like cool stuff that comes through that is fun for me to sell. All right, so we'll look at some other stuff that I sold that wasn't really expensive, uh, mainly around like the $50 mark. A lot of this stuff too, you would never think people would need or buy or that it has any value. But like I said, just look up the part number and you'll see how often these things sell. So yeah, a lot of this stuff that is around $50 to $30 uh, usually is small and easy to ship. Um, some of it's new, some of it's used, some of it's broken, whatever. If it's worth something and can sell, I'm going to put it up. So I encourage you, if this video is interesting at all, go look up body shops near me, make a list, walk in there, offer your services for selling parts for them on eBay, take some stuff back with you, store it, list it, take pictures, handle all that stuff, ship it out, make some money. This is a great business, it's pretty easy and I've had some success, so I'll keep making some videos for you guys to help you out. And then if you have any questions, leave them down below and uh, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.